Check this out. This is how you guys can make your texting better on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Now, the cool thing about this keyboard on the Note 3 is actually it was pre-made and designed by SwiftKey, which is actually one of the applications that a lot of people download to have better texting. So, the cool thing is that it's already built in on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3, and I'm actually really hoping that once you have any Galaxy phone running 4.3, it will actually have this keyboard. So I guess we'll see. So uh, I do know that the Galaxy S4, the Galaxy S3, and the Note 2 will be updated to 4.3 uh, coming up here in November of 2013. So check this out. Let's say that you're texting your buddy named Random, and there is actually a word that you wanted to use. Um, and let's just say that uh, some random word that is not even true is tubly or tubly, whatever. Basically, this is something that is not saved in your keyboard. Uh, you know, memory. So what you can do is you can click on that word so it can actually be used in this sentence. And then once you actually send this off, what is going to actually happen is that your keyboard, you can set up the settings to remember that word or any words that you use. So, so you go into settings and right here you're going to notice that there is predictive text, auto replacement, auto capitalization, auto spacing, and auto punctuate. I have all of these turned on. So check this out. In terms of the predictive text, what you can do, is go inside of here and you can actually have your phone learn what you type through Facebook, Gmail, Twitter, messages, contacts, things like that. So what I always use is referred to as the learn from messages. So once you click on learn from messages, now it is learning all of the text messages that you have written up to that moment in time. So let's say that I go back into this text message here. Um, and if I go back in and I say the word tubely, it is actually used as a word and I can actually use the word or I can actually hit the space bar. So that is how you can make your texting incredibly easier and better all based off of the native texting app on the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. My suggestion for anybody that's using the Galaxy Note 3 or any Samsung Galaxy device running with this keyboard, I would suggest for you guys to go into your settings and make sure you do the predictive text in terms of learn from messages once a week until you've had the device for quite a while, then maybe once a month. So one of the questions you guys may have is that if you're looking at your uh, Galaxy keyboard here and you notice that the settings icon is not the icon showing, all you have to do is press and hold on that icon. Here's where you can actually change it or use one of those settings. So you have your mic, your handwritten to text, your clipboard settings, the emoticons and a different type of keyboard stuff. So if you don't have it on settings already, I'd probably say settings. Uh, if you're one of those people who always use your mic to text, I'd probably say use mic to text to the point where now it will actually be saved as the mic.